Hi everybody, Sherry Sicard, aka Cannabis Sherry here today and today I'm going to introduce you to Cannabis Sherry's new cultivation editor, Mitch Mandel. But before I do that, I just want to remind everybody, hit that YouTube subscribe button and notification bell because I try to upload new videos every Wednesday. Okay, Mitch is not exactly a new member of the team. He's been on the team all along, just always behind the scenes. But I finally talked him into coming in front of the camera because I have enjoyed the fruits of his gardening labors for decades now. And I have learned so much about cultivation for him, from him, I mean. And we're getting a lot of questions about that. So it's time we up our grow content and Mitch is going to help us do that. Welcome. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> how are you doing, everybody? I'm glad to be here. Glad to be talking about growing, something that I know a little bit about. And I'm really happy to be here with Cannabis Sherry. Oh, it's great to have you. Now, as your first task as cultivation editor, I tasked you with finding the answer to a question I've been getting a lot lately. And that's people asking how they can easily set up uh, or the easiest way to set up a small right. personal grow in their home, an indoor grow. Right. And I hear that you came up with a great solution to that. Well, it, it wasn't just me that came up with the solution. It was the people at Mars Hydro. They came up with the solution, but I really liked it because I had looked all over for a complete kit for growing. Uh, because There's a lot of items you have to get. You need to handle ventilation and timers and uh, lighting, no, lighting and, and uh, um, odor control. I mean, there's all kinds of things that you've got to deal with when you're growing indoors that outdoor growers don't have to deal with. They've got other problems, but indoor, you've, we've got certain problems that are, are bigger. I've always found that a, a challenge for beginners because there's so many little moving parts that right. you've got to think about. So this solves that, the Mars, Mars Hydro? Yes. Well, instead of, you know, now we don't have to drive around to a bunch of stores because we can all do all our shopping online, but instead of trying to figure out which store has the ventilation and which store has the lighting and which store has a tent and which store has this and which store has that and putting it all together um, and making a kit you, yourself, Hot Mars Hydro has done it all for you and they do it right around this LED light there. This is one of the, this style of light is the way to, to go. This is an encapsulated light where all of the LEDs are encapsulated in, in, a, in a plastic type uh, uh, case. So it's not uh, a giant uh, big light. It's lightweight. It has a dimmer, which I really like. There's a dimmer here somewhere. There you go. So you can dim the lights down when, you're, when the plants are young and then bring it up to full brightness when you're flowering. It also saves on a ton of electricity. I really like this light. Um, it's kind of the state of the art of where all the LED lights are going. Back 10 years ago, you couldn't, an LED light couldn't compare to the uh, metal halide and HID lights that, that we used to have but those ran incredibly hot. You, your grow tent would go at 100, 120 degrees if you weren't careful. With these lights, you almost don't need a fan to, to cool things off because they only run at like 85 degrees. So they're great, they're great for everything. So with the, now to the kit. The kit comes with a tent, it comes with the light, it comes with a fan and a charcoal filter to, to, for odor abatement, it comes with a timer for the light, it comes with a fan controller, so you can dim the uh, dim the, con the the fan down and up if you have if it's too cool or you want it a little bit warmer. It comes with hangers, so you can hang everything. It comes with um, uh, straps. It comes with crossbars to to hang things from, and uh, even has ducting if you want to duct the ventilation out to wow. a, to a separate place. So they they really thought of just about everything when they put this kit together. Okay, well, what didn't they think of? If you're a beginner and you're going to buy this kit, what else besides the kit would you have to buy, or what what didn't they put in the kit? Well, I needed a couple of zip ties uh, for the to put it together, which was something I would have been nice for them to have. But uh, that's kind of that was a small thing. Not a big deal. Yeah. Right. The one thing that the kit doesn't get into is because you can grow just about anything. You can grow anything you want in a grow tent. Is it doesn't give you anything to grow. So you've got to source your own cannabis, okay. or your own seeds, you got to your, get own, your clones. own cannabis. Okay. <laughs> you, you, all, you have to get your own soil and nutrients. Oh, the one thing it does have, it does. It came with grow bags in order to put your soil and nutrients into. So they thought about that, about putting, uh, getting the grow bags in there. Um, and it also comes with a trellis net for training your plants. But it didn't have the soil, the nutrients, or the plants. That's something you have to source on your own. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. That sounds actually pretty amazing that everything else is in that kit. 
Um, I know you're going to show us how easy it is to put it together, yeah. and I hear you don't even need tools to put it together, no, right? Don't need tools at all. The tent just plugs together. Uh, I needed a tool to cut a strap off the a little bit off one of my uh, uh, zip ties, but other than that, there's no real tools necessary. You can do it. You can do it in, in, in less than an hour and have your whole grow tent ready to go. Wow, that sounds amazing. All right, show us how to do it. Uh, take it away, Mitch. Watch the video. In this part of the video, I'm going to show you how to put together the Mars Hydro TS-1000 Indoor Tent Kit. This kit includes almost everything you need to grow plants indoors. I'll go over the pros and the cons and everything included in this kit in more detail before doing the setup demonstration. The entire kit, which was sent to me by Mars Hydro for this review, arrived in this box, and inside this box was more boxes. And inside those boxes are the actual parts of the kit, which once opened looks pretty impressive. Starting with the tent, I must say the frame is really strong. It has metal poles and crossbars and metal corners, and the whole thing goes together really easily without any tools. I'll demonstrate this in a few minutes. It also comes with a heavy-duty canvas cover that has heavy-duty SPS zippers. Also included are two fabric straps so you can hang things from the two metal crossbars. Moving on to the environment, this kit includes an air filter and fan, plus a fan speed controller to help maintain the perfect temperature and humidity. The included thermometer hygrometer will show you if any fan speed adjustments are necessary. Finally, there's ducting if you want to move the filtered air out of a window or into your attic or really anywhere. Here it is, the Mars Hydro TS-1000 LED lamp. This cool running 150 watt lamp is perfect for this tent. Included with this light are light hangers to hang it from the crossbar and a timer so you can set the sunrise and sunset. Looking at the back, it has a detachable power supply. I kept this one attached and run the included power cord to it. One thing I really like about this light is it's dimmable. This saves on electricity and your younger plants from possible burning. The kit does not include soil, nutrients, or seeds. Those you'll need to get on your own, and something I'll talk about in a future video. It does include four or five gallon cloth grow bags and a mesh training net to help you train your plants. Since this tent is only good for one plant at a time, those four bags will last you quite a while. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to put the tent together. After watching this video, it should only take you about 15 minutes or so to do it. This is me after a fine sativa. Instructions are included and they are easy to follow. The F pole connects to the G pole and the E pole connects to the D corner bracket. However, they do lack one important instruction. Make sure when attaching the E poles, you use the input with a single hole. Leave the input with two holes for the vertical F or G poles. Once the frame is together, it's time to place the canvas cover over it. It's a snug fit, but not terribly difficult to put on. This is best done with the tent on its side. With the cover on, stand the tent up and unzip it so you can install the removable and cleanable waterproof floor tray. There's also a zipper in the back giving you easy access to putting the tray in. It also gives you access to your plants once you have something growing inside. And finally, place the two metal crossbars inside for added support and a place to hang your light and ventilation. So let's take a look inside. At the bottom, there are three covered vents that can be opened from the outside as needed to let more air into the tent. There's also several access holes that can be used to run power cords, water lines, or additional ventilation. The two big ones on the left and the right were designed to vent hot air from metal halide lights. Since we're using cool running LED, I'm just going to use one for the air filter. The walls are covered in diamond reflective mylar that provides 99% light reflection. It doesn't get any better than this. 
To move the stale air out of the tent and fresh air in, the kit includes an air filter and an inline fan. Both are hung off one of the top crossbars. Simply attach the filter to the fan, making sure the air flows out of the fan that sucks the air through the filter before exiting the tent. I use duct tape to secure the fan to the filter. I'm using the fabric straps to attach the filter to the crossbar, but there was really no way to attach the fan to the crossbar, so I had to improvise using two zip ties. This is the one area the kit could have been a little better equipped, however, zip ties are inexpensive and easily obtained. I pieced the whole thing together outside the tent before placing it in the tent. Once inside the tent, I used one of the large vent holes to move the air outside. Now you can attach the extra ducting here and move the air outside the tent even further or any place you like. The power cord can now be run out through the top of the tent and to the fan speed controller box. I already told you about the Mars Hydro 1000 LED light earlier in this video, so let's get right to hanging it. First, attach the metal cable clips to the back side of the lamp and plug the power supply into the lamp. Then, attach the ratchet pulleys to the second crossbar as shown here. Now attach the lamp to the pulleys using the metal cable clips. Once securely attached, you can raise or lower the lamp to any desired height. The last thing you need to do is mount your thermometer hygrometer somewhere in the tent. I used a zip tie to mount it to one of the tent poles as seen here. And that's it. You're now ready to fill your grow bags with soil and germinate your seeds. But that's another lesson for another time.